This video is going to show the complete joystick kit that is installed on the John Deere 6140M. This same kit can be used with any of the 6000M series tractors as well as the 6000R series tractors. The kit does come with complete written installation instructions. You've got the schematic on the first page here and then the written instructions along with install pictures. In this kit that we're taking a video of today, the single lever multifaster is included. With just the pull of a lever, you can disconnect the hoses when you're taking off the loader and then reconnect the hoses also when you're putting the loader back on. This kit can also work with individual quick couplers as well with the 6000M and 6000R John Deere series tractors. The hoses going from the quick coupler up to the steel lines of the loader are included in the kit and then also these hoses running down to the working ports on the control valve are also included in the kit. So this is showing the loader control valve which is installed under the front right part of the cab. I'm going to explain the bracket that's holding the valve as well as the hoses on the valve in this part of the video. So we have the, the shield which comes, which is normally mounted right here. So that shield has been removed um, and it will be, the shield will be put back on also. We just have it off for this video so we can see the valve here. This piece of metal right here is the bracket that is included in the kit. Back here is an existing bolt that we're using to hold that part of the bracket. And then over here, hidden behind the hoses a little bit, there's another bolt right there. And so those are the two bolts that are holding the bracket. When installing the valve, um, we did install the valve to the the bracket before then bolting the bracket to the tractor body as that made that part easier. Um, now the valve itself, these are your working ports. You've got the, these two hoses which are controlling the grapple um, or which are flowing oil to the grapple. That's an electric spool and then here you have the loader and um, bucket ports. Those are both, um, this is going to be the loader with the, the float and then this will be the bucket spool. And then those are both cable operated. The cable's a little bit hard to see, but they're up behind the, the hoses there. And then you've got your pressure hose here coming in from the side, which is supplying the pressure oil. You've got your return hose here, which is up on top. And then off to the side, back there you have the load sense hose. Um, and those are labeled LS is for load sense, R, is for return and then P is for pressure. So this is laying right under where the valve is installed under the lower right part of the cab and is looking up at the bracket which we include in our kit um, as well as the valve which is then bolted to the bracket. So these are the working, these are the hoses going up to the loader, bucket, and grapple. So this is the return hose here. This is the load sense hose. And then over here, this is the, the pressure hose. You have to go to the rear of the tractor to plug into the pressure, return, and load sense ports to supply the oil flow to the control valve. With the 6000M and 6000R series tractors, sometimes there is a um, priority valve built in to the rear of the tractor already. If it is, there will be three ports. The pressure, return, and load sense ports will be right down here. With this tractor that we're working with, the priority valve was not included in the tractor. So this one did require the installation of the Power Beyond block, which we can supply along with the kit. 
And then here you're seeing the load sense, the pressure, and the return hoses, which are installed in the Power Beyond block. And again, the Power Beyond block was added um, as part of this kit so that the oil flow was able to be supplied um, to and from the control valve. What's really nice about this Power Beyond block is it can, it's pretty easily um, installed in the rear of the tractor. You do need to take this cap off and then you do need to install the longer studs, which we can also supply along with the kit so that the block can be added. And then once the block is added, then you, to the longer studs, then you just um, put the cap back on and bolt it on. And then what's really nice about this block as well is it's clearly, the ports are clear, clearly labeled here. You have the load sense, the pressure, and the return ports. So it's pretty, pretty clear uh, which hose goes where. Um, and then as, as you can see too, the load sense hose is the one that's a little bit smaller, the pressure and the return hoses are both a little bit larger, as you can see here in the ports. Included in this kit is the joystick with the buttons for the grapple, the cables, the wiring harness, and then also the bracket for mounting the joystick between the seat and the console. This is the joystick handle and as you can see here's the two buttons for controlling the grapple. This is a close-up of the joystick bracket that puts the joystick between the seat and the console. The joystick fits down inside this square tubing here and then this is the base. Now these are existing bolts that you're using for bolting on the bracket and then I'm just lifting up the skirt of the seat a little bit back here this is also an existing bolt you just have to loosen that bolt um, slide the bracket back in there and then tighten that bolt up again so this bracket fits very nicely in between the seat and the console and with the joystick right between the seat and the console the joystick is easy to reach and to operate so this is a close-up of the cables and the wiring harness which are running down under the floor mat through a hole that we did drill here it's a one and a eighth inch hole and then what you do is you first you first want to um push the wiring harness up through the hole and then afterwards you want to push the cables down through the hole and so once we put the mat down again it creates a nice clean setup for the cables and the wiring harness.